Alrighty folks, Puppies World here, and I'm on the subject today of 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays. I have recently read an article on soundandvisionmagazine.com, the Sound and Vision website, concerning Dolby Vision and High Dynamic Range 10, Dolby Vision's competitor. Uh, so each version is a uh, version of high dynamic range, of course. But the question, the technical question in, th that an individual wrote in and had was uh, concerning Ultra HD Blu-rays and whatnot and had stated that, you know, he has a Blu-ray player, an original Blu-ray player, and does not have an Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray player, has no desire to buy one or plans to, and is wondering that concerning his Ultra HD 4K HDR television, he would like to take advantage of the high dynamic range. And I'm just paging through my audio visor catalog that came today. I know, a little screwed up, but... um. His question is, without buying an Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray player, is he able to take advantage of the high dynamic range? And the answer is technically no. More specifically, his question was related to, am I able to get high dynamic range from a Blu-ray upscaled to Ultra HD 4K um, without buying the Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray discs? And the answer is no. Unfortunately, high dynamic range is specific to the source material. So I've got a brand new Blu-ray here I'm going to be doing a review video on shortly. Uh, the 3D aspects of it and of course our friend Dolby Atmos. But unfortunately, to be able to achieve the high dynamic range, either HDR10 or Dolby Vision, it has to be written in the metadata of the source material. So that's actually in the disc if it's high dynamic range. And when you buy the Ultra HDs, I think I got a few over here actually. Um, we're, I'm running the Oppo in the other room right now, the bedroom, so I can show you that. But the high dynamic range is going to be specific to the source material, as you can see here. So this is just a copy of Hacksaw Ridge, the Ultra HD version, and the high dynamic range is only on the 4K Ultra HD movies. So unfortunately, he will not be able to take advantage of high dynamic range. Now, there is another aspect of HDR that doesn't apply to 4K Ultra HDs or Blu-rays, and that aspect is streaming services. Uh, Netflix, Vudu, Amazon Instant Video, and maybe Hulu. I'm not sure Hulu, but I do know the, the top three. Netflix, Amazon, and uh, um, you know, Vudu are going to have the 4K Ultra HD streaming, which um, can and do have high dynamic range on there. Uh, Dolby Vision, yes, and HDR10, yes. So that's a possibility. Um, a streaming device that is capable, the PS4, believe it or not, is capable of doing streaming in the Ultra HD format, um, and other devices are as well, including the Roku Ultra. Um, the Roku Express, unfortunately, is not. I can add a list of certain devices that are compatible with Ultra HD uh, 4K streaming services as well. But, um, you know, so if you do the streaming services and you, you know, you shoot for the, the Netflix, um, it's like the premium package, but the most expensive form of Netflix offers the 4K stuff. I'll have to do a video on that sometime as I don't subscribe just yet. I subscribe to the, the normal Netflix. And then Amazon Instant Video um, for Prime members. Um, I'll have to do a video on that. Now, I've done a video, and I haven't posted it yet, on the video and sound quality of Amazon Instant Video versus Netflix. Um, and then I throw in Voodoo in there as well into a different video. So comparing the sound and video quality of all three... And um, I'll, I'll let you know the consensus once I post the video. I'm not going to spoil it for you just yet. Uh, but I wanted to show you this little article that, oddly enough, um, the female and I are sitting here talking about HDR, and all of a sudden this comes on the news. So I'm going to show you this right now. Here's what's happening in the tech world. Well, that was fast. Amazon has slashed prices on 4K movies now that Apple is selling them cheaper. So it used to be if you wanted to buy the 4K version of a movie online from somewhere like Amazon, you'd have to pay a premium or about $30 for a 4K title 
compared to about $20 for high definition. Well, now that's all changing that the Apple TV 4K has launched. It sells HD and 4K movies at the same price, about $20. This is a big win for consumers, who usually have to pay more for better formats. But somehow, Apple convinced Hollywood to keep prices the same. You can read my full review of the Apple TV 4K on my website. Just go to richontech.tv. So there you have it, folks. That is good news for Apple users. I unfortunately do not uh, partake or utilize any Apple services, um, and uh, so I probably won't be. But there you have it. Uh, if you've got more questions or are wondering things further about high dynamic range or 4K Ultra HD, either the TVs or 4K Blu-rays, uh, let me know. I can answer your questions as best as I can. And then I'm going to have several videos concerning um, Ultra HD and Dolby Vision and HDR10 formats coming soon. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back with a lot more. I've got um, some of this stuff I'm dealing with right now, so I'll have some fun stuff coming. I've got a video on actually um, reviewing the Amazon Basics 16 gauge, uh, yeah, 16 gauge speaker wire, 100 foot spool. So as I'm hiding my wires, and I'm going to be going the route of doing underneath the floor, drilling a hole uh, in the floor, and then running them through the ceiling because they're just not working out like this. So. Thank you. Please subscribe, and I'll be back with a lot more, guys.